Hello everyone and welcome to Sweet Talks with Ben. On today's Sweet Talk, we're going to be looking at how to edit and customize some of your proposal templates. Well, Let's go ahead and jump directly into the Contracts and Docs portion of Construction Suite. Now we'll locate the custom proposal templates underneath the report templates. Once we're there, we'll notice that we have both commercial and residential custom proposals, but let's just focus on custom proposal 1 in the residential section here. Now just like when we edit any of our other templates, we'll want to make sure that we right click on that file and then select to edit template. Once on point has opened, we'll notice that we're looking at just a pretty typical uh, template, just like you see when you're looking at any of your other contracts or documents. Uh, we have both the standard black text that's going to stay the same on every project that you create, as well as these custom autodoc fields. Now just as a reminder, these custom autodoc fields are going to change per project. Uh, they are made to update and reflect the project details from each specific project that you're creating proposal for. Now as far as editing this information goes, you certainly can do everything that you want to to it, much like you could within Microsoft Word. So say if we didn't like the font here necessarily, then we could go ahead and choose a different font. We could also choose to underline it if we wanted to and increase the font size. We can also remove the spacing if we wanted to, add in additional auto doc fields. In addition, we can also rearrange where a lot of this information is going to show up. So if we wanted to exchange uh, the location of a lot of these auto doc fields, then we simply could just cut and paste those. And now we'll see that the for the project now is before the between the owner and the contractor there. And we could also make changes down here at the bottom to any of this information as well. Now I want to encourage you to leave this information pretty much intact. Uh, just because with the bookmarks that are associated with it and where that information is going to pull in, it's just a lot easier to leave it set up exactly how it is. Now you can certainly make changes once you've created that proposal as to how you want that information to be reflected or what all information you want to include or exclude. One question that I often have from my clients is how they can enter in a header or a footer. So we would want to go to the insert tab up here at the top and then in the ribbon hit the header and then add. Now inserting this header here we can now go ahead and say we wanted to put in a page number. If we wanted to adjust the, the page number and reflect on the right hand side of the page, we just go back to the home, choose to align the text on the right, and there you have it. By double clicking anywhere outside of the header, we'll get you back to editing the main proposal, and then we can look at go ahead and adding a footer if we wanted to. Say we wanted to go ahead and enter a space for our clients to enter in their initials and maybe one for the contractor as well. Once we are satisfied with all these changes, we want to make sure that we go ahead and save this proposal as well. So we can do so by going to File and clicking Save or Save As. By clicking Save, that will just go ahead and update the proposal that we have on file to this more recently updated version. So now that it's saved, let's go ahead and close out of this proposal and jump into one of our estimates and we'll launch the proposal wizard from the reports tab. With the proposal wizard open, we'll want to make sure that we select this residential template. That way we can access the custom residential template that we just created. We'll keep all this information the same here. We'll click Next. And then, since we edited the Custom 1 proposal, we'll click here. I've gone ahead and changed the name. You certainly can, too. Once you're at this step, if you decide, oh, man, I actually left off a last-minute change. I want to make this template. 
We have a quick link for you here to get back to how to edit that template as well. We'll go ahead and click Next, include all the information that we want to here, just like normal, and then choose Finish. And as we're prompted to enter a letterhead here, we'll click yes. And then we'll see our proposal has been generated. Now we'll notice that the same changes that we had initially made when we edited the proposal, uh, specifically right here with the font, that is reflected as well. And as we scroll down, we'll notice that we have our header in place. We have the date, all of our scope of work, all that information where we rearranged, where we wanted this to be included, and again, like I said, that footer there as well. Now, editing a template, more so than just changing each one of the proposals that you open up, is going to save you a lot of time. If you are able to go ahead and create a template that you know that you will use, uh, every, you know, day in and day out for each of your projects, that's certainly going to help you be more consistent, more efficient, and get you winning jobs more quickly. So that concludes today's Sweet Talk. If you like what you see, I highly encourage you to check out our other videos that we have available for you. As always, I'm Ben. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day.